Hi, I'm Alana, a fitness mindset and wellness coach. And today I want to talk to you guys about why we must stop, stop comparing ourselves to others. As Theodore Roosevelt once said, comparison is the thief of joy. Do you find yourself constantly scrolling social media, looking at the excellent and the glamorous side of what people quite selectively choose to post? Most of us find ourselves down this rabbit hole from one time to another. But for many of us, it's quite often. And this is an unhealthy obsession. It is a downward spiral to a lack of self-confidence and unhappiness. We know in the back of our minds, we shouldn't compare ourselves to others. So why is it so hard for us to disengage? Of course, it's great to have goals and to follow people who motivate and inspire you. But I want you to remember that we must stay in our own lane. It's you versus you. You've probably heard the saying, the grass isn't always greener on the other side. So why is it so hard to stop comparing yourself to others? We compare ourselves to others when that voice inside our own mind starts to infiltrate our way of thinking. Maybe we don't think we are smart enough to have a particular career or to start our own business or we aren't pretty enough or skinny enough to look a certain way. Like anything in life, tear yourself up enough and it starts to become embedded into your mind, leaving you feeling lower and most likely more further away from where you want to be in life or your goal than where you started. We tend to compare ourselves to others when there's a lack of self-confidence or a belief in ourselves. Trust me, I know how hard it is and I struggled with this for a long time, comparing myself to others and continuously not feeling good enough. So I've got some quick little mindset hacks that you can use to start to implement into your daily life and catch yourself when you feel you are comparing yourself to others. So my number one hack, accept yourself. Number one, accept yourself. Acceptance is the ability to unconditionally value all parts of who you are. So I want you to dial up that self-love in your life. So do things that leave you feeling happy and empowered or motivated. For me, I like to get out in nature or go for a bike ride, have a, bar, a bubble bath or magnesium bath, or even cover myself in sweat in a good hard workout. So I like to call it my little self-love menu. And I've kind of tailored what I like to me and so only you know you so only you can tailor your own self-love and create your own little self-love menu so when you feel yourself slipping into comparison you're I'm going to dial up my self-love here and that is my number one little hack number two is to acknowledge your reality so awareness is key it's okay to be to not be where you where you want to be but I want you to acknowledge where you are now and then where you aim to be. So I find getting clear on our intentions are helpful in achieving or almost mapping out stepping stones in how we will get to that goal. And remember, the journey to success with all the ups and downs is the most important part of the process. It should be acknowledged as you never know who you might inspire. So I want us to think about not just acknowledging our ups, but also acknowledging and being honest about our downs. Number four, focus on your own strengths and your own goals. So what are things that you are great at? Write them down. I like to write them down on little post-it notes and then you can stick them around your room or put them on a mirror where you'll be able to see them. And then start to focus on what are your goals and what it is you want to achieve. Something that helps with this is writing or creating a vision board or starting to journal. So writing in a journal, writing about what it is you want to achieve or with a vision board, because I know I'm quite a visual person. I like to cut out pictures and stick them up where I can see them. So that always kind of brings me back to what my long-term goal is. And you've got to remember, it's okay not to be there right now. It's a process. And number four, last little hack for your mindset in comparing yourself to others 
is I want you to raise others up. Don't knock them down. We live in a society these days, which is so social media driven that sometimes I think we forget how to acknowledge each other in the real life bubble, not the social media bubble. So make it your mission daily to try and say hello to someone new or to smile at someone on your walk and try and spread a little bit of love. I think it's always nice to acknowledge others and then you start to get that acknowledgement back because something I find on social media is you quite often see people who have a lot of friends and then you start thinking, I don't have a lot of friends, but that's a social media bubble. What about the real life bubble? What are your relationships like in real life? And how are you giving back each day? So number four is raising others up and don't knock them down. And then just lastly, I want you to take this little statement away. You are you and you can define your own definition of what success looks like to you. So that's just a little takeaway for you to think about. And if you have any questions on mindset or comparison and comparing yourself to others, leave me a comment or direct message me and I'm happy to answer any of those questions. Otherwise, have a fabulous weekend and I will see you in my next mindset video.